If you've ever been on the Joe Regret YouTube channel like ever, you will be familiar with Jarfe. But for those who are unaware, Jarfe is a viral TikTok meme entity that has gained a large fan base and over 6 billion views on TikTok. I do have a separate video that is a deep dive into the meme, so I do recommend watching that video before or after this one. Anyways, it is well established that Jarfe, the meme entity, is not real and is instead made up of a series of different people, such as Jemo Mo, Mossy Man, and a woman who uses an umbrella to protect herself from oil splashes when cooking. And regarding the Jarfe name and image, it was theorised that both were created by morphing together the identities of Mung Ja and Wan Fei Fei, who are Chinese K-pop stars and a part of the now disbanded group Miss A, because the girls are known professionally as Ja and Fei, and thus together they make Jarfe. This is the general consensus amongst both Jarfe stands and Jarfe historians, I didn't just make it up promise, and most believe the same thing, that this woman here does not exist, and that, as I stated in my original video, Jarfe was just a creation of Photoshop and perhaps AI that merged the two K-pop stars together. The profile picture used by Jarfe accounts combined the features of the two and added some Photoshop effects. But despite this theory being widely accepted as fact, the exact images of Ja and Fe that were allegedly used to form Jarfe were unknown, and no one has been able to locate. Them. And the reason why these exact images remained unknown for so long is because they don't actually exist. Because the belief that this woman here doesn't exist and is instead an AI morphed creation isn't actually true. On the 23rd of October 2023, the user Ranvision Official on TikTok, who is famous for their Jarfe remixes, and whom you may recognise as one of the main masterminds behind the cupcake remix trend, posted a TikTok that has quite literally changed the course of Jarfe history forever. In this TikTok, Ranvision revealed that the infamous image of Jarfe wasn't the mashup of the two K-pop girls, as many of us thought, and is instead a real person. In their video, Ranvision showed this Doyin account here, Doyin being TikTok's Chinese counterpart. The account had the name, once again, apologies for my pronunciation, Dede Rebuki, and this Doyin account had shared a video on around the 16th of October, 2023, which was six days after my deep dive video, and in their post, the account owner revealed that the picture, who is now famously known as Jarfe, was in fact her. In the video, the lady explains that in December of 2020, she took a few random photos of herself on a balcony. And as we can see here, these images are the same person, place and outfit from the Jarfe image. The woman goes on to explain that she shared these images to the social network WeChat Moments. And in the screenshot showing this, we can see that this image here in the middle that she shared is the exact one that has gone on to become known as Jarfe as part of the meme. And despite the fact that the Jarfe meme became viral in late 2021, early 2022, it wasn't actually until June of 2023 when the woman in the picture became aware of the meme. She became aware that she was being used as the face of Jarfe after a friend reached out to her and commented on the similarities between her and Jarfe, to which the woman replied that the picture was actually her and she was confused as to who had stolen her picture and given her a new name, because she's not called Jarfe. So technically, Jarfe Jarfe still doesn't exist, but the woman in the image does. In the Doyin video, she goes on to show all the different aspects of the meme that involve her face, like Jarfe's music career, the Roblox games, and even showed videos of people handing out pictures of her on the street. She also pointed out that a 32 minute YouTube video had been made which researched whether or not she was real, which upon reflection, whoever was sad enough to make a video that long has far too much time on their hands and clearly didn't do a very good job with their research. But anyways, from this video shared on Doyin, revealing the woman's true identity, we can deduce the timeline of how this image came to be the Jarfe meme. The lady posted the images of herself to social media in December of 2020. Then, some sort of bot operation must have stolen this image, alongside images of many other Asian women, and then in early 2021, bot accounts on TikTok began to pop up using her image as a profile picture and would then mask like people's TikTok comments. 
accounts, and as many of these bot accounts had the username Jarfay and were liking people's comments on the app, they became well known on TikTok and thus Jarfay the meme was birthed, as memers began impersonating the bot accounts and creating fictional lore for the entity. For the full timeline and breakdown of the Jarfay meme, check out my deep dive on the topic which I'll link in the description. Ranvision's video revealing that Jarfay was not as we had previously thought a Miss AI morphed creation, this is a brief pause for you to appreciate that pun, and that the Jaffe picture is in fact a real person, has gained, at the time of recording, over 190,000 views. But I am sure by the time this video is posted, Ranvision's TikTok will have a lot more, as people are, rightly so, shocked to discover that a woman who they were shocked to discover didn't actually exist, does in fact actually exist, after all. And although in my opinion, this lady's story does appear to be incredibly convincing, given that she has additional similar images with the outfit and location, and even has screenshots of her post in the Jaffe pic to social media, some people still remain unconvinced and claim that the pic is AI or morphed from the Miss A girls. No, it can't be, they look too different. I still believe it's the K-pop idols Mung Ja and Wan Fei Fei's faces combined. This is a lie. Also, some people say that the woman in the pictures is wearing beauty filters, which could have contributed to the original Miss A slash AI theories, as the images appear to have been edited in some way. But to be fair, beauty filters are extremely common on Do Yin, so I don't think the fact that the woman is wearing beauty filters indicates that the morphed AI theories are true. However, they could potentially be responsible for the almost uncanny valley aesthetic that the picture has. But now, with it being discovered that the Jaffe picture that has been shared around the world and even printed onto shower curtains is allegedly a real woman, rather than two famous people morphed, it raises questions about the ethical nature of the meme. Imagine people using your pick to create memes without your consent. Wild. Imagine you live your whole life and one day you find out that you've been a TikTok icon for two years overseas. And so, with the real lady behind the now notorious Jaffe selfie coming forward and revealing the true origins of the Jaffe image and correcting any accusations of being a Ja and Faye mashup slash AI, I get the feeling that, unfortunately for this woman, a new wave of Jaffe memes will soon be on the way and that flop talk may have a new resident moving into Flop Tropica. Which reminds me, please do not harass this woman or her account and please treat her kindly and with respect. Below I'm going to leave all the links to Ranvision's YouTube and TikTok pages, so be sure to check them out and support them for uncovering the truth about the archaeological relic that is the Jaffe image, Lara Croft who. And I also want to apologise for my previous claims in the deep dive video regarding the origins of the image and I hope that I haven't offended anyone, particularly the real lady behind the image and Ja and Fei from Miss A. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this correction video, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos, hopefully not corrections, like this one in the future.